Hello, hello. My name is Brian, and we're going to see. I'm going to show you how you can downgrade WordPress from a, a new version to an old version. Okay. Now I'm going to do this in five phases. Okay. The first thing is we're going to do is we're going to download the old version of WordPress that you want. Okay. Uh, I'm going to downgrade to uh six six four two. That was released back in December 2023. The reason why I'm I'm running back to this version is because my website was working fine back in December. Okay, this is Apple 2024. So I'm trying to downgrade to this version. Okay, now the way I'm going to downgrade it can apply to someone who is downgraded from any version. Okay, and from any version to any version. Okay. So we're going to get the old version that we want. So I assume you have to find the old version that you want to use. You down you download it. Then we're going to go in a C panel, and uh, we're going to kind of delete the current WordPress files, the core WordPress files, except the WP content folder, maybe an WP config. Then we're going to down delete and upload the new WordPress which is old, okay, the old Word, WordPress files. Then we're going to extract, then we're going to go into the database, then we're going to change the old database version number. Okay, we're going to do this in um, slowly in six versions, okay? So the first thing is you go download the old version of WordPress that you want, okay? For me, I'm going to downgrade to 6.4.2. This is a version of December 6. If you want the older version, uh, maybe 5.4, whatever, you're going to just uh, go to this link. It's called wordplace.org slash download slash releases. Okay. Um, it's something which you can paste in Google. All right. Then when you get that link, you try to go to the old version. Let me try to, let me try to do it in Google so that uh, everyone can kind of, uh, pick up, <clears throat> pick up from where I am. Okay, so let me go to Google. Uh, okay, so I'm going to search old version of WordPress. Okay, uh, WordPress download releases. Okay. Okay. Uh. So I'm going to download, I'm going to go to that link. So you do this to get the old version, okay? You go to the Liz archive, okay? WordPress kind of uh, keeps uh, archive of every release, okay? I think I'm going to get this link and also put it in my description so that you don't have to suffer with this. So I'm going to download 642 because it's what I want, 642. So, I'm going to click on this download. So I've already have that file downloaded in my downloads. It's here. So make sure I download 64, actually 641. I want to download downgrade to 641. So after that, you go to your C panel. Okay. You go to your C panel. Now we are do the, doing this because I sure maybe you don't want to use the WordPress. You can access your WordPress logins. Because if you want to use WordPress, you can just download download the plugin and you do the downgrade. Okay, but for us, we're doing it manually. Manual is kind of safe because it won't lock you out of your WordPress. And also, if you can't log into your WordPress, uh, this is a way around you can do it. Okay, so let me go to my cPanel. I'm already logged into my cPanel. You have to go to your file manager. Then you have to access your files. So we're going to um just a minute i think it's the right C panel okay okay so we're going to you're going to upload the wordpress okay you just click on upload so you're going to upload the zipped folder of the wordpress that you down down downloaded okay uh you're going to select file Okay, you're going to select file and you're going to go to downloads. 
Okay, mine is under downloads. And you're going to kind of locate your WordPress folder. It's something which I've already done. I'm not going to re-upload. Re I already have the, the WordPress 641, which I want to downgrade to already upload it, okay? So after uploading it, you're going to delete all the files of the old version of WordPress, okay? Now, before you downgrade, it's important to know the version you are working with, okay? So the second step I will advise is first confirm the version of the WordPress you are using. So I'm going to check the version of the WordPress I'm using. That one, you can go into the current WP includes. Uh, the current side which is using just to confirm what you are downgrading from okay so you're going to look for a file called version uh, i'm going to use control find i'm going to find version okay it's here i'm going to click on it then edit just to find out what is this i so when I go inside this, it's 652, okay? So I'm upgrading from 652 and I'm putting it to 64.1, okay? So it's important to know the version you're downgrading from because we are going to find this where there is the LP version number. This is the number in a database. You have to also edit it after uh, downgrading the files, you're going to locate also this WordPress version in the database and you're going to put the version of uh, the old WordPress. Okay, so it's important to know the version you're currently running. You have to note this. You can actually copy. Okay, we are going to see. You can copy it and paste it somewhere because you're going to have to locate this in the database. Okay, so uh, we are downgrading from 652. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going, let me go up one level. So I'm going to select everything. Um, I'm going to select everything, okay? I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to select this. Sorry, I'm going to delete everything, but except LP content, because LP content contains the content of my Word, WordPress. I'm going to take off this because I don't want to delete HC access. I don't want to delete my LR log file. I don't want to delete my WP WordPress. Okay. The new file which I'm going to extract. I don't want to delete my WP config because it's the one which connects to my database. So the rest of the files, I'm going to delete them. Okay. So downgrading, you don't have to. Uh, downgrade these files are, are going to be the same. WP config is going to stay the same. WP co content it's fine because this one contains your plugins and everything, so you don't have to delete this. Okay, so the rest of the folders and the files I'm going to kind of delete them. Okay, but I'm not going to delete them permanently just in case I need to resume something, I can resume them. So let me confirm. Okay, so I've deleted everything except this. So let me extract this because these are the new files I want. Okay. So I've extracted them. When I extract them, it created a folder like this. So what was here has come inside here. So let me kind of move these ones. I'm going to move these so that they appear here. Okay. Because when you extract the kind of create a folder. So I'm going to move what I've extracted. So I'm going to select everything but I'm not going to move the DLP content because I don't need it. I already have the DLP content at the top, so I don't want to move anything in the DLP content, okay? So I'm going to move this. Uh, move. So I'm going to put them uh, on the top um, there. Move. Okay, so these files are going to come on the top. They're here now. Okay, so I don't need actually now this. I don't need even the WordPress 6 4 g So because I've already got the files now, I feel let me just delete this one permanently because, you know. Yeah, so the old files are now here. The old files are now here. The WP config is still intact because I didn't delete it out. HTAccess is still there, error logs are still there. Even also my WP contents here. 
I don't want to touch anything about it that will be called it because it has my content for the website, okay? So now this, what, what files are all. So I'm going to go into the database and also update the old database line, it, it, um, which indicates the new, in the database there's a file, there's a, there's a field that you have to, down, to downgrade to, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do it. So we have, we have deleted the files, uploaded, and now we're going to go to the WP and change the version. Okay. So uh, before I go to the to the database, I'm going to go to the WP includes so that I copy the new version of this WordPress. Every WordPress has a new, there's a number which is assigned to every WordPress version. So I'm going to click on version as was before. So I'm going to click on edit so that it can load. And I'm going to copy, so this one is 641 and it's database record uh, number is 566, you know? So I'm going to copy this because in the database, I have to also update this, okay? So copy the old the, the database version number. Don't copy this because in the database, they save this, okay? So let me copy this, okay? Let me go to the database, okay? So let me go to the database. Um, let me go back to the control panel where I started and, uh, and you're going to go to PHP my admin, okay? When you go to PHP my admin, Okay, you're going to look for your database that you're using, okay? We're using, um, using this. So let me choose this. So in the database, I'm going to look for the OP options table. It's here, this, the OP options, click on browse. And here, I'm going to look for version, okay? A number of rows, if they're kind of small, uh, mines have increased them to 250, but by default, I think they're like 25. So sometimes you don't see enough tables because my tables are kind of many because I increased the number of rows to 250. So I'm going to find and search version, okay? When I click on version, I'm going to find a row where that thing is, okay? Version is coming over here. So I'm going to click on edit. Oh, you don't have even to click on edit. You're going to double click there. Now, mine is, I've already switched it to, to old because before I did this, this this video, there was the old version number. There was, there was there 5715 for WordPress 6.2. So remember I'm changing this five. So there was, the, there was 57155, but I have to put 56655, okay? Now currently it's 56 because I already changed it, but there was the other new one. So you have to remove the other, what you see there, then you paste the version of the old WordPress, which is this, okay? So it means there in the database, it was this. It was 57155 or 6.2.2, 6.5.2 WordPress. Now I'm putting this, because this is for 641. Okay, all right, so you just click outside. So you have to downgrade the files, but also you have to come to the database, look for DB version, change it to the version of the old WordPress. Okay, so I've changed to this. Mine was showing already this because I'd already changed it before I made the video, all right? So that is done. So we have changed the database in the, uh, we have changed the version in the database and also in our files, we have changed the files to the old version. Okay, so let me go back to my, to my, to my um, WordPress, to my files. So actually that's how you downgrade the files from the old, from a new version of WordPress to the old version of WordPress, okay? So you just have to update the, you just have to update the, 
the 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 files in your the core files of WordPress and also change the DB version in your database to the old one. And that will do. Uh, that site was this. It's my portfolio website. It's my portfolio website. On my website, it's a subfolder. And Array it was showing a critical error, but now it is fine because for some reason, um, I had to downgrade it, okay? Because uh, there's a there's a plugin which works with the old version and I haven't figured it out. I'm going to find the old version. I'm going to find the old plugin which works because it comes with the with the core theme and the theme kind of is no longer existing. So I'm kind of stuck, you know? There's some cases you have to kind of just go back, okay? Temporarily, okay? So it kind of works for me. So that's how you can downgrade the new version to the old version in WordPress. It works for any version. And uh, if you find a problem, you can leave your comments below. And if you find this video kind of useful, you can give me a, a, a like, and also you can subscribe on my YouTube. Okay, I really appreciate, okay? So thank you, thank you. I'll hear from you in the comments and bye-bye.